Hi, my name is Mark Sal, and welcome to I'm Alive Animation. I'm going to teach you now how to do some easy eyes. Now, the, the key with doing uh, easy anything in animation, or actually probably in life, you could probably say, is to simplify the design, or to simplify of what you want to do, and then it'll be easier and it'll be quicker. And now part of that is, of course, simple character design makes for e less to animate, less detail to move around, and, um, and so that it can actually speed things up. Now, I'm going to show you just a quick uh, clip of a video that um, I've done with the, the design that I'm going to show you how to do. So here we go. So what you'll see on this character is that there is no Y to the eyes. That may not have been uh, immediately apparent, but I've got some rather good, um, some just that little subtle bit of shadow behind the eyes there, just to give it that little bit of depth. But you can see just how uh, expressive those eyes can be. So let's move on and I'll uh, we'll go ahead and show you. Of course, in this tutorial, um, I'm going to be showing you how to do the whites of the eyes as well because I know that you're not necessarily going to want to mimic my style of, um, of drawing. So uh, I'll show you how to do that. If you like my style and you want to maybe play around with just um, using more of shadow in the back of the, of the head rather than the eye whites, just simply ignore the eye white part of this tutorial. So let's get on with it. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I've opened up Moho Pro. I've got a project open already, and you'll notice I have saved it right away. I recommend you do that for every file you open on, regardless of whatever product, product you're using. Just uh, save the file, and then all you've got to do as you move along is hit Control S to save it, and that will save you a lot of headaches and a lot of frustration down the road. Okay, so let's get on with the tutorial. So I'm going to first create a, um, a group. And I like to create groups, whatever I do. I'm just going to call this eyes. And then I'm going to move that into the group there, that layer, which is a vector layer. And I'm going to call this eyelids. And I'm just going to create the eyelids. Uh, we'll create those first, I think. Um, and then we're actually going to create a couple of blank layers as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call these, this will be pupils. I can spell it, pupils, and I'll go in the same group, but under the eyelids, and then this is going to be the eye whites, well, if I can type it right, I, E, there we go, eye whites, and those are the only three pieces I'm going to use, again, um, if we, uh, if you're going to try and attempt to do um, the style of character that I showed you earlier, then just simply don't create that layer, um, but we're going to show it anyway because eye whites is probably more styles that use eye whites than don't. Okay, so we're clicking on the eyelids uh, layer. We're going to—it's a vector layer. We're going to just create the uh, the point tool here, and I'm going to create a very simple eyelid. So here we go: one, two, three, four points. There we go. Well, that's a very basic kind of eye shape. But um, what I'm going to do here is hold Alt. And then I can move these Bevs to Bezier handles. If you're using Anime Studio, um, an earlier version, then you're not going to have these. You're just going to have to use more points. Okay, I'm just going to really come up here. And really depends on how much detail you want and how realistic you want these eyes. It will depend on how many points you use and uh, how much time you spend on shaping them. But I think that's good enough for the tutorial. Um, it's very similar to what I've got. So I'm going to highlight all the points. The shape creation tool, click create shape, and I am going to go down to the style menu, and I'm going to pick, uh, da -da, well, let's get that back to simple, I don't, we'll go to basic, I don't need the, uh, um, I don't need it to be advanced, I'm going to go use the skin uh, swatch, and I'm going to give it some colour, so I'm just going to, it's already highlighted, there we go, doesn't really matter, we can have any colour we want, but I like to give it some colour, um, now with the eyelid, I'm going to zoom in here, I don't want any um, lines between the eyes and the head. Now, the reason for that is that there is no real solid line between your eyelid and your eye socket there. So that will blend in a little bit easier than a thick black line. But I do want to use a thick black line here. I'm just going to change the, uh, uh, just to the uh, thickness there. And then we've got an eyelid. That's how quick that eyelid is. Now with the pupils, I'm now going to create a shape. And I'm going to create a circle. This is going to be the easy way for you to do it. So I'm going to create the circle, and it turns looks like I've got the auto fill turned on. So I'm actually going to delete that. 
and I will start again. So don't have the autofill on. Create the circle, and I'm going to create a circle like so. Oop. If I can pick the right tool, and I'm going to put that more or less where I want it. Now, that's about the size of a pupil, I think. Uh, that looks about right. Now, what I'm, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fill of the color, fill of the uh, shape, rather, to be the uh, pupil. And I'm going to use the line to be the color of the eye, the iris. So I'm going to create that. Um, and I'm going to create the shape with both a line, with a stroke, and uh, with the fill, create shape. I'm now going to change the color now. I'm going to take the the fill, make it black, and I'm going to take the... Oh, actually, I'm going to have to change my swatch to um, basic colors, and I like this one. It's I don't really see much need to use too much, too many different uh, swatches there, but this one works for me. And I'm going to create a blue eye. There we go. Doesn't look very real, they're very wide awake. Um, so what I'm going to do is highlight the whole thing. Then I'm going to use the line width tool. I'm just going to make that big. Okay, you see how that how that made a really effective and really quick eye. Now you can leave it like this if you like. And I'm just going to make that a bit smaller just so it fits. Make the line. There we go. And then you can get the pupil the size and the color of the size that you want. There we go. I think something like that. Anyway. Maybe there we go. So the eye is done. Now for my particular style, um, I'm going to, I yeah, tend to use only use three points. I'm going to click out there. I'm going to kill that. And I tend to use three points because I like a bit more of an uh, of a odd, odd shaped eye, a little uneven eye. But I'm going to leave that at, as a circle just so you can see it there because I suspect most of you are going to want to have a, a circular eye rather than an odd shaped one. So then I'm now, now I'm going to create the wider the eye. At, in my, with my style of that drawing I showed you there, an example, I don't have to do this. I can now continue to rig it for animation. Um, but I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to show you how to do the whites of the eyes for those of you that will want to use that. Now I'm going to do the same thing again I did for the eyelid, but I'm going to make it the full size of the eye that I want. I'm going to use my selection tool there and the Alt as well which will help me to move one Bezier handle at a time. And in this particular case, I will be doing, um, will be creating the shape with both. And I'm now gonna have to readjust these now to make the fill white. And I do want a black outline on this one. So where is black? There. Now we have to do a little bit of adjustment because I want this to go under the eyelid. There we go. I'm going to move that around so it looks nice. So I've got the corners of the eyes look like corners of the eyes, and I'll make that eye just a little bit more rounder. There you go. And that's an eye. Isn't that looking good? And you're actually done with rigging both the eyes, funnily enough. So what I'm going to sh what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to move this. Um, yeah, we're going to move the whole thing over. I'm just going to, actually, I'm just going to move the the whole folder over just so it fits on the screen better. And now what I'm going to do is click on the eyelids layer, and I'm going to duplicate everything. Okay, I'm going to highlight it all, go copy, paste. Now I'm going to flip it horizontally. There we go. I'm going to do the same with the pupil. Control, all, copy. I remember I'm on the pupils layer now. And paste. And again, that's, I'm just using the control X, oh, sorry, the control C and the control V for copy and paste. And now I'm going to go to the eye whites there, control copy paste and I'm going to flip that one because the eyes are circular I didn't have to do it with the pupils line that up and now we have two eyes we are now ready to rig it so we are done obviously you'll want to spend some time to get the eyes at the right distance apart um, but I'm just going to leave those there for now and I'm going to save so now we're going to rig it for animation so let's go to the the folder the eyes folder and I'm going to change that one convert it to a bone layer and we are actually going to create a few bones. And I'm going to create the bones first, just so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to have one bone here, which I am going to label as eyes side. And then just click to one side, so that bone's not highlighted. Create the new bone. And I'm now going to 
put that where I want it. That, and you can put these anywhere you like on the screen there. It doesn't really matter. Uh, make them as big or small as you feel like you need it. And I'm going to the bone selection tool again, highlight it and create the label. Okay, I'm going to close on eyes up, down. Actually, I'm going to show the label on both of these. And then I will create one, another bone, which I am going to call blink. Now the blink will be uh, close the eye and to make the eyes wide as well. But here we go. Oh, I've got to show the label on that. That's annoying. There we go. So there we go. We're now going to animate these. So um, easy eyes. We're going to go eyes to the side. I'm going to create that bone. Highlight the eyes, the eyes side bone. I'm going to create a smart bone dial. Um, I am going to change this to 120. And I do that to 120 just because it's easier. I use 24 frames a second. That's five seconds worth of animation. Uh, 120 is just like, nice and easy five seconds. You can uh, change that to whatever you like. Um, and now we have the eyes side. Now we're already in the actions menu. That's when we create it. It makes it live here in the um, in the actions menu. So eyes side is going to go one way. That'll go to the left. Now you see the bone moving to the left. And if we go into eye side two, that'll move to the other side as well. I can show you that. And that will go to the other side. And so for eye side, I'm just going to start with the first one. Move the, uh, just, just move um, where I'm working there at frame 120 right at the end. And now I'm going to go to the pupils layer. And now I'm going to highlight all of both the pupils. And I'm just going to point selection tool. I'm going to move those to the side. That's it. That's all I got to do. Now I'm going to double click on the eyes side to make sure that we're on frame 120. And I'm going to move those all the way to the other side as well. You'll notice there's some overlap over here. So I'm just going to bring that inside the eye. There we go. There you go. I'm going to make that look the same so it doesn't look too difficult. Oh, and by the way, I'm holding shift down just so it stays on that same plane. And and that's it. So we're going to go back to mainline and we can test that. The eyes side, that's it. Eyes, and eyes side are working really well. Now, we're going to go eyes up down. And you can probably guess what I'm going to do on this one as well. Bones. Oh, we have to go back to the beginning. Onto, onto the bone layer, rather. Sorry. Eyes up down. Bone. Make smart bone dial. Okay, that, because I selected at the beginning of this book without, um, that, that it does go to 120 frames already. And I'll make sure I'm working on frame 120. And the same thing with the eyes up down, the bones will go. Uh, just keep an eye on which which way around that's going. So that's eyes down. And I'm going to make that eyes down just because. So we'll go to the pupils. Highlight both the pupils. And I'm going to go down. Now, because I am working with. You know, I can make sure I, I go where. Because I'm working with the eye whites, I am now limited by the the eyes, um, the, the eye outline. If I was not using the eye whites, I can do what I want with that. I can go as deep and as far out as I want. But we do have to pay attention if we're using the eye whites. Now I'm going to click on eyes uh, up, down, two. I'm going to go to frame 120, highlight all of them. And I'm going to go up there. Now I'm going to go way higher than I need to for good reason because I um, will need that later when we make the eyes wider. Now I like to test every time. So we've got the eyes side, we've got eyes up and down, and you can see how flexible that can be. You can get some nice movement. Now we're gonna do blink. So let's go back to the bone layer, select the blink line, click on bone, make smart bone dial. The dogs are having fun out there, I see. <laughs> gonna click on frame 120. And now I can make these eyes close. And so first of all, I'll go with the eyelids. And we can click on the point selection tool. And then just move those down. And then just using using the Alt key to move those um, bezier handles. I'm going to move those down as well. And then I'm going to use the eye, because we're using the eye whites, I'm going to move those up. Because when, you, when somebody blinks, their eyes, oh, Let's click outside of that because when someone blinks, they blink, the bottom lid comes up as well. 
and so I want to just make sure that these are pretty good there. Okay, which we're moving to the behind the eyelid. Then we'll do the same with this one. Okay. And you can spend as much time as you want on this to make it look realistic. And then we're going to go blink too. I'm going to make it big. Now I'm not just going to make the eyes. Obviously the eyes are already open. And the eyes in the general state will always be open. But in this particular case, I want to make the eyes wide. As if you're seeing something that's shocking or surprising. So click on the eyelids. So I'm on blink two. Click on the eyelids. And we'll make the eyelids as big as we can. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the show bezier handles. And then I'll just give me a little... I can then just move that up where I want it. I'll make the eyelids a little bit bigger. So, actually I will have both Bezier handles on a little bit just so I can round that up there. And then I'm going to go to the eye whites. And I'm just going to adjust that up there just so it's hidden behind the eyelid. And we're done. That's it. That is all there is to do. So let's go back to mainline and I will show you. So eyes side, eyes up and down. Obviously, when you're animating, you don't want to be, you want to be careful where you're putting that eye up. But when you're blinking, oh, ah, here's now here. Ah, this is actually pretty good. This gives me an opportunity to show you a common mistake that um, uh, people probably make, and I, so I certainly make it from time to time. When I went on blink two, oh, oh, where is it? It goes down. So when I'm blink, so when I went on blink two, we go to eye whites. You'll see I did not move my work where I was working. I didn't move to frame one twenty. So if we move those back there, you can fix that, right? Now we have to do the same with the eyelids, and we'll move the eyelids, highlight them all, and move those over. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, good that that happened, and you can see just uh, how easy that is to fix. And rather than being, oh, then rather than uh, being confused at how you're going to fix it, go file save. I'll go back to the main line, and that should have resolved the issue. There we go. So, obviously, you'll see that when you're animating, you'll see little pieces, little artifacts like this with the pupils around, and you can just move the eyes up and down if you like. And there you go. That's how easy that is. Surprise. And there you go. Actually, what we can do with the uh, with the surprise with the blink too. So I did forget eye whites. We should make the bottom of the eye a little bit bigger as well. But you can see how quickly and easy it is to make this, to add tweaks to this. Okay, so that's it. That's how you can quickly and easily create eyes, um, and making them blink, rig for them to move side to side, up and down. And it actually is a very effective way of, um, of, of rigging your eyes. And it doesn't matter how detailed you make your eyes, you can use this method of rigging them to really speed up your um, your rigging. I know that some people will want to do point animation. You get a bit more detail, a bit more fine points on that, um, pun in Intended, maybe um, or you can there are other ways of doing it but this has proven to me to be probably one of the easiest ways to rig the eyes plus the design of the eyes itself means there's less points needed to actually create it all and it's very simple to set up now I'm gonna do right away I'm actually gonna record a how to animate a tip that's gonna be stupidly quick and easy it'll be a minute or two just showing you uh, tips on how to make the eye movements just a little bit more realistic um, so that's it for now thank you so much for joining me and um, I'll see you in the next video thanks